We've been through a lot of principles about what God has said and done in our class thus far. In Lesson 18, we'll spend some time discussing how these principles should be applied both individually and as Christian congregations. Let's start with the basics we know already. According to God's law, we know that we are all sinners who deserve punishment in hell for our sin. But, according to God's gospel, we know that Jesus took our place under the requirements of the law and the punishment that we deserved, so that our sins are forgiven, and we know that we will be safe in heaven with God forever. When people recognize and know that they are sinners, we are overjoyed to share the gospel with them. However, things are more difficult when people deny or don't care about their sin. In those cases, Jesus directs us to warn them that they are rejecting his forgiveness, that those sins are not forgiven. When someone doesn't care about their sin or doesn't think that what they're doing is wrong, we call that person unrepentant or impenitent. We can define that term this way unrepentant or impenitent, someone who is not sorry for his or her sins and does not want to change. Unrepentant or impenitent, someone who is not sorry for his or her sins and does not want to change. On the other hand, when someone does care about their sins and truly wants God's forgiveness, we call that person repentant or penitent. We can define that this way. Repentant or penitent. Someone who is sorry for his or her sins and wants to stop sinning. Repentant or penitent. Someone who is sorry for his or her sins and wants to stop sinning. In class, we will read through Jesus talking about binding and loosing keys, or maybe more clearly, locking and unlocking keys. He says that we should lock heaven for those who are unrepentant, but unlock heaven for those who are repentant. That is, we can assure someone who is sorry for their sins that Jesus has forgiven them, but we warn someone who is not sorry for their sins that their unrepentance is separating them from Jesus' forgiveness. Let's define the keys this way. Unlocking key or loosing key. The duty to assure someone who is repentant that his or her sins are forgiven. Unlocking key or loosing key. The duty to assure someone who is repentant that his or her sins are forgiven. And the locking key or binding key the duty to declare to someone who is unrepentant that his or her sins are not forgiven. Locking key or binding key. The duty to declare to someone who is unrepentant that his or her sins are not forgiven. This use of the keys is something that God has given to believers, but he has also specially entrusted it to his church. So, as local congregations, we work together to warn people about their sin and also to comfort them with the good news of Jesus' complete forgiveness. We'll spend time together in class talking about how a congregation does that, usually with their pastor, who is someone specially called to care for God's people in a congregation. We'll discuss the joys of that and the difficulty that comes when people don't want to listen to God's word. Bring your questions about this work, and we'll enjoy studying God's word for us together in class. Blessings on your week.